want a cyber security certification but which one security plus cost four hundred dollars caesar cost seven hundred and sixty dollars iso 27001 lead implementer cost over a thousand dollars that's a lot of money and if you pick the wrong one you waste months of study time and hundreds of dollars on a certification that doesn't help you get hired. Now, here's the truth most people don't tell you. The right certification depends on where you're starting and what jobs you're targeting. There's no one right answer. Now, in the next few minutes, I'm going to break down those three certifications in simple terms. I will tell you exactly what each one costs, how hard it is, and then what jobs it helps you get, and which one also you should actually pursue first. I'm told of where Michael and I've helped over a thousand people break into cyber security. I have watched people waste money on wrong certifications. I've also watched people pick the right one and get hired within three months. So if you want to make the right choice and not waste your money, hit that subscribe button right now. So here's your first memorable line for today. The best certification isn't the hardest one or the most expensive one. It's the one that gets you hired. Let's figure out which certification you actually need. Security Plus is the most popular popular entry level cyber security certification in America. Now, there's something you need to know about it. What does it cost? The exam is $404. Most people also buy study materials for $120. Now, total cost is about $600. How long does this take? Most people study for 30 to 60 hours. That's about two months. If you study five hours per week, some people do it faster, some take longer, and it covers broad cyber security basics. It covers threats and attacks, security architectures, security operations, and governance and compliance. Think of it as a wide overview of cyber security. You learn a little about everything, but you are not deep on any one thing. What are the jobs that want Security Plus? Now, Security Plus appears in more entry-level cybersecurity job postings than any other certification. About 13% of cybersecurity jobs mention it specifically. Jobs that value Security Plus include SOC analyst, security analyst, junior GRC analyst, and IT security roles. The US government also requires Security Plus for many cybersecurity positions. So if you want government or defense contractor jobs, you probably need this one and the exam is 90 questions in 90 minutes multiple choice and some performance based questions where you configure security tools or you analyze scenarios you need 750 out of 900 to pass security plus and the pass rate is right around 75 percent now the good part is it's recognized everywhere it covers fundamentals you need to know it opens doors to many entry-level jobs. The cost is reasonable compared to other certifications. Now, the bad part is it's very broad. You learn surface-level information about many topics but not deep skills in any area. It's technical enough to be challenging but not specialized enough to make you expert at anything. Now, next question is who should get Security Plus first? You want technical cyber security roles like SOC analyst, you're targeting government or defense jobs, you have some IT background already, you want the most recognized general certification, you can get Security Plus. Let me give you your second memorable line. Security Plus is like a key that opens many doors, but it won't make you the master of any room. CISA stands for Certified Information Systems Auditor. It's completely different from Security Plus. Now, the cost is around $760 for non-members of ISACA. If you join ISACA first, you pay $200 for membership plus $575 for the exam. Total cost is about $775 to eight hundred dollars plus study materials cost another one hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars now to look at how long this takes caesar requires more study than security plus most people need 60 to 120 hours of study that's about three to six months at five hours per week and it covers auditing information systems and that's what this focus on. You learn how to evaluate whether controls are working, how to assess risk, how to ensure compliance, and how to manage IT governance. See, this is not a technical and term certification at all. It's about evaluating and assessing, not implementing and configuring. Now, the next question should be what jobs want CISAR? See, CISAR is valuable for IT auditor roles, GRC analyst positions, compliance roles, and risk management jobs. It's less common in job postings than Security Plus, but for the jobs that want it, they really want it. The experience requirement here, 
Now here's the catch. Caesar requires five years of work experience in information systems auditing, control, or security to get certified. You can take the exam without experience, but you won't get the actual certification until you have the work experience. There are some ways to reduce the requirement. A college degree can substitute for one or two years. Other certifications can substitute for one year, but you still need at least three years of relevant work experience. Now for the exam, 150 questions in four hours, all multiple choice, no performance based questions, and you need a 450 out of 800 to pass. The pass rate is around 50%. This is a harder exam than Security Plus. Now, the good part is it's highly respected in GRC and audit roles. It's recognized globally. It shows you understand governance, risk, and compliance very deeply. And it can lead to higher salaries once you have experience. Now, here's the bad part. It's expensive. It requires work experience to get certified. It's harder to pass than Security Plus. And it's not valuable for technical and some security roles. So, should you get Caesar first? Well, this is who should get Caesar first. You already have IT or audit work experience. You're targeting GROC or compliance roles specifically. Uh, you are not interested in technical and on security work. You have the money to invest and the time to study seriously. If that's you, then this is good for you. Caesar is like a graduate degree. You can study for it early, but you can't graduate until you have lived through the experience. ISO 27001 is an international standard for information security management. The lead implementer certification teaches you how to build a security program using this particular standard. Now, what does it cost? This one is quite expensive. The five day training course plus exam costs $1,200 depending on the provider. You usually can't just take the exam, you have to take the official training course first. Now how long does this take? The training course is 5 days, usually full time, then you take the exam at the end. But realistically, you need time to understand the material. Many people study the ISO 27001 standard before taking the course. Add another 20 to 40 hours of preparation. And what does this cover? ISO 27001 Lead Implementer teaches you how to plan, implement, manage, and maintain an information security management system based on ISO 27001. You learn about risk assessment, control selection, documentation, auditing, and continuous improvement. This is very focused on one specific framework. It's not broad like Security Plus. You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical, and focused on real action. It's called the five day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you binge and forget. We're talking hands on learning real skills and daily guidance two hours a day for five days it's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen look i love making these youtube videos but let's be honest how many times have you watched a great video thought i'm going to do something about that and then didn't that is why this challenge is different it's designed to be your support okay we're not just learning you're giving tasks actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. Now, what job wants ISO 27001? These certifications are valued for information security manager roles, GRC consultant positions, and jobs that are focused on building or maintaining security programs. It's less common in entry-level job postings. The reason is because this is more of a mid-level certification. Now, for the exam, the exam format varies by provider. Usually, it's multiple choice plus some scenario-based questions. The pass rate for this exam is right around 60 to 70 percent. And the good part is it's internationally recognized. It teaches a complete methodology for building security programs. And it's valuable if you work with companies that need or have ISO 27001 certification. It can lead to consultant work. But the bad part is that it's very expensive. 
okay also it focused on one framework and it's not as valuable in the us as in europe and asia it's overkill for entry-level positions most entry-level jobs don't require or even provide this certification now who should get this sat first if you're targeting international companies your company is pursuing iso 27001 certification and they will pay for your training or you are interested in security program management specifically or you already have a job and you want to advance but for beginners with no job yet this is usually not the right first certification let me put this side by side so you can see the differences clearly let's look at cost comparison security plus is 600 dollars total caesar is 800 dollars total iso 27001 is 1500 to 2000 dollars total study comparison now security plus is 30 to 60 hours caesar is 60 to 120 hours iso 27001 is five days training plus 20 to 40 hours prep difficulty comparison right security plus is medium difficulty with 75 percent pass rate caesar is hard difficulty with 50 percent pass rate ISO 27001 is medium to hard difficulty with 60 to 70 percent pass rate. Now let's look at job market comparison. Security Plus appears in 13 percent of cyber security jobs with very broad appeal. Caesar appears in 5 percent of jobs but highly valued for GRC. ISO 27001 appears in 2 percent of jobs specialized to security program management. Now let's look at the experience requirement. Security plus as none. Caesar needs five years for certification but can take the exam anytime. ISO 27001 has none but usually requires training course. Now which one is best for entry level? With what we have seen, Security Plus wins here. It's most common in entry level job postings. Cost less, takes less time and doesn't require experience. Now which one is best for GRC specifically? Here Caesar is strongest for pure GRC roles but you need experience to get the actual certification. Which one is best for career advancement? Well, depends on your path. Security Plus opens most doors initially. Caesar is valuable once you have experience. ISO 27001 is specialized for program management. Now, don't collect certifications like Pokemon cards. Get the one that opens your next door, then walk through it. Here's what I tell people based on their situation. If you are completely new to IT and cyber security, start with Security Plus. Why? Because it gives you broad foundation knowledge. It's recognized everywhere. It helps you figure out what area of cyber security you actually want to pursue and most importantly the cost is reasonable the study time is also manageable and it opens the most doors for entry-level jobs now if you're coming from an IT background still probably security plus first even if you know some IT security plus fills in cyber security specific knowledge and many jobs require it as a baseline after you get security plus and get your first job then consider adding Caesar or ISO 27001 based on your role if you're specifically targeting getting GRC roles, now here is where it gets interesting. You might think Caesar makes sense, but remember, you can't get certified without the experience. Now here's my recommendation. Start with Security Plus to understand security fundamentals. Once you have a job and you're gaining experience, then study for Caesar. Some people skip Security Plus and go straight to Caesar. This can work if you already have IT experience and you are confident in your GRC focus, but you won't get the actual certification for years. And if your company will pay, if you're already employed and your company offers training budgets, ask what they will pay for. Many companies will pay for certifications that are relevant to your role. In this case, the cost concern disappears. So focus on what helps your current job and career path. And if your situation is that money is tight, none of these are cheap. If $600 is hard to find right now, focus first on building portfolio projects and gaining experience through free tactics. You can get entry-level GRC jobs without certifications if you have strong portfolio work and you can demonstrate skills. Save up for Security Plus later okay and this is after you are employed now the timeline that i recommend is say month one through month three build portfolio project and apply for jobs month four start studying for security plus month five through six continue studying and take security plus exam month seven onward keep applying with certification on your resume this gives you portfolio work plus certification that combination is strong there are mistakes you don't want to make mistake number one 
getting multiple certifications before applying for jobs. See, one certification plus portfolio work is enough to start. Get certified, get a job, then get more certifications. Mistake number two, getting expensive certifications when you're broke. Don't go into debt for certifications. Build free portfolio work first. And then mistake number three is getting specialized certifications too early. ISO 27001 is valuable, but it's too narrow for beginners. Start broad with security plus. And mistake number four is thinking certifications are required. They help, they're helpful, but they're not absolutely required for entry-level jobs. Skills and portfolio matter more. Now here's my personal take. I got Security Plus first. It helped me understand cybersecurity broadly. It helped me get my first job. Later, I got Caesar after I had the experience. Caesar made more sense once I knew and wanted to focus on GRC. And I also got CCISSP. I never got ISO 27001 certification. I learned the framework on the job without paying for the expensive certification. So your path might be different but for most beginners security plus is the smart first choice now here's the bottom line security plus for most people caesar second after you have experience if you are in grc iso 27001 only if your company pays or you're specializing in security program management don't overthink it okay pick one study pass the exam apply for jobs you can always get more certifications later a certification proves you studied a job proves you can work get the certification that gets you the job and if this helped you decide which certification to pursue first subscribe for more practical guidance that saves you time and money i hope i'm leaving you better than i met you today i will see you in the next one bye for now you know i get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical and focused on real action. It's called the 5 day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you binge and forget. We're talking hands on learning real skills and daily guidance two hours a day for five days it's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen look i love making these youtube videos but let's be honest how many times have you watched a great video thought i'm going to do something about that and then didn't that is why this challenge is different it's designed to be your support okay we're not just learning you're giving task actionable steps every single day with live q and a's where i personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life watching my videos is great but if you want to go beyond watching if you're ready to take real steps toward a two hundred and fifty thousand dollars career a year come join the challenge the link is in the description below you can't miss it